The famous writer Napoleon Hill once had a conversation with the devil. This is how it went. Mr. Devil, what is wrong with the principle of flattery? You use it, do you not? Do I use it? Man alive, flattery is one of the most useful weapons. With this deadly instrument, I slay the big ones and the little ones. Your admission interests me. Go ahead and tell me how you make use of flattery. I make use of it in so many ways, it's difficult to know where to begin. I warn you, before I answer in detail, that publishing my answers will bring down an avalanche of ridicule on your head for bringing up the question. All good. Proceed. Flattery is the bait of incomparable value to all who wish to gain control over others. It has powerful pulling qualities because it operates through two of the most common human weaknesses, vanity and egotism. There is a certain amount of vanity and egotism in everyone. In some people, these qualities are so pronounced, they literally serve as a rope by which one may be bound. The best of all ropes is flattery. Flattery is the chief bait through which men seduce women. Sometimes, in fact, frequently. Women use the same bait to gain control over men, especially men who cannot be mastered through sex appeal. I teach its use to both men and women. Flattery is the chief bait with which my agents weave their way into the confidence of people from whom they procure information needed to carry on welfare. Whenever anyone stops to feed his vanity on flattery, I move in and begin to build another drifter. Non-drifters are not as easily flattered. I inspire people to use flattery in every human relationship where its use is possible because those who are influenced by it become easy victims of the drifting habit. That's enough for now, Mr. Devil. Like and follow for more.